Stadium in Kent, Ohio, the location for this college football game. We've got some cold weather, so get your blood pumping for tonight's game between the Akron Zips and the Kent State Golden Flashes. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit to bring you today's game. And it's got to be exciting for college fans everywhere as we prepare for the national championship with this incredible season drawing closer to an end. The Zips have to play mistake-free football just to compete in this game, but I doubt that'll help them that much. Right, Lee Corso? Forget about it. Kent State is going to come in here and pound the ball right at this defense. And when they're done with that... Kent State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Stuckey kicks it off. Stuckey kicks it off. That was some kick. Yo, does that guy have a leg or what? Ball on the 21. It's first and 10. The Golden Flashes come out in a 4-3. Back to back. Rolling out to the right side. Number nine just throws this one away. Ball on the 21-yard line. So it's second and ten. Nickel defense. Chess that one. Tackle at the 27-yard line. And that was a nice job of running. You know what, Brad? If they can utilize a balanced offense, mix up the run with the pass, they should be able to get more of these five to six-yard runs. Ball on the 27. It's third down and three to go. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. He's looking for his man. Number 38 drops it. I think the pressure forced him to get rid of the ball there, guys. Yeah, great job here by the defense. Getting a good surge up front, getting right into the quarterback's face. Foster back deep to return. He gets it off. Foster fields it at the 30. First and ten. The golden flashes go with the eye formation. Number 16 drops to throw. He throws it. And it's caught. And he's finally shoved out at the 34. And he delivered a nice pass there, Coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. It's going to have the defense calling for mercy soon. Ball on the 34. The Zips line up with a three-man front. And he's taken down at the 30. They got four yards on that one. Ball on the 30-yard line. Second and five coming up here. The golden flashes come out in the ace formation. Number 40 with a takedown at the 23. That's a nice six-yard game. Ball on the 23. It's first and 10. The Zips use a four-man front here. They blitz it. Fan brings him down at the 13. They had a tough time bringing him down. Well, he's running really hard right now, Brad, but how about the offensive line? They have their heads on a swivel, and they're looking to knock anyone down in their path. It's first and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. High formation here. They'll run the option. Bam! With a takedown at the six. Well, Coach, he picked up a few yards on that one. Brad, tough running by this kid. They're crowding the line. Back to pass. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. Five-yard loss on the play. 
This is the seventh play of this drive. Kent State sets up in the eye. Number 16 steps back to pass. He passes it. He's got it. Touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up. Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Kent State lines up for the kickoff. Heyman and Manning back ready to return. Stuckey kicks it off. Heyman fields it in the end zone. Ball on the 21 yard line. Nickel defense. Back to pass. He guns it to the right. Number 80 hangs on to it. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. 4-3 defense. Chase on a pitch out. He jumped and he's going to lose yards on this one. Drop back four yards on that one. Ball on the 28-yard line. Akron lines up with a split backfield. Back to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. Third down and long coming up here. Akron goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Rifles it right side. They'll bring him down at the 42. Nice pass, but not enough for the first down, and that's going to bring up four. I know, I know, yeah, but nice pass and catch. But when you don't convert the first down, it's not as nice as you'd like. Foster awaiting the return. Number 46 gets it off. Foster fields it at the 22. He almost took that thing all away. Boy, that was nicely executed there, wasn't it, Coach? Yo, Kirk, did you see the lane they created there? Was that a nice job or what? Ball on the 45. First and 10. The Zips line up in a 4-3. He's got the first, and they finally tackle him at the 17-yard line. He exploded down that field. Boy, that's a great job by this kid of finding the holes in this defense. And when he gets in the open field, watch out, sweetheart. There he goes. Ball on the 17-yard line. The golden flashes line up in an eye formation. Can't wrap him up. First down, and they make the stop at the six. They picked up good yardage on that one, Lee Corso. Oh, baby. Did the O-line create a lane for him to run through or what? They're crowding that line of scrimmage, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. They worked it on the ground, Coach, and the result, six points. Brad, absolutely right. Hey, they made it look easy. And he hits the PAT. Kent State to kick. Number one to kick off. Number 37 and number 84. Deep to the sea. Stucky kicks it off. Heyman fields it in the end zone.
First and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Kent State lines up defensively in a 4-3. He tries to spin, and he stopped behind the line. Nothing gained on the play. Ball on the 20-yard line. Ashford comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Tackle at the 21-yard line. No gain. Ball on the 21. Four-man front by the defense. Back to throw. He passes it. Incomplete. And there was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of him in a hurry, and that's why his pass was off. Now the teams have switched sides, and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. Fourth down and nine. Ball on their own 21. Foster, the return man. Punts the ball away. Foster fields it at the 40. Fair catch made by on their own 39. Mason is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's got the first. And they finally bring him down at the 31-yard line. And that was a touchdown-saving tackle right there. Brad, you're exactly right. He was so close to taking that ball all the way into the end zone. Ball on the 31. It's first and 10. The Zips line up at a 3-4. They're bringing it. Number 94 brings him down at the 27. Just about three yards there. Ball on the 27. Kent State lines up with a split backfield. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. Ball on the 25-yard line. We've got third and three here. Kent State sets up in the eye. Number 16 drops back. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Fourth down and three. Ball on the 25. The golden flashes come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He unloads it. Milhouse knocks it away. That was a calculated risk there, don't you think? Yeah, I think it was. Sometimes you have too much confidence in your offense, and it cost them there as they turned it over on downs. Ball on their own 25. It's first and 10. Kent State comes out in a 4 3. He jukes it. Mayer tackles him for a loss on the play. Nothing gained on the play. Ball on the 25 yard line. Four man front by the defense. He's looking for his man. Swatted away. They got some good pressure on him there. Yeah, but don't forget the fact that nobody was open. That was good coverage, too. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 25. The Zips has come out the shotgun. Fires a bullet out to the right. There's a missed tackle. Number six with a takedown at the 44-yard line. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. The Zips line up in a split back set. And he's going to lose yards on this one. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Ball on their own 42. The golden flashes put four men up front. Number six brings him down at the 45. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. 4-3 defense. Number nine, back to throw. He lets it go, and down he goes at the 40. 
at number 84. Ball on the 40-yard line. First and 10. Number nine, back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. That catch was made, but he couldn't keep a foot in bound. I know it can be tough, but as a receiver, you really need to be aware of the sideline at all times. Ball on the 40-yard line. Kent State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Complete, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas, I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. First and ten. Four-man front by the defense. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. Only managed a few yards on that play before they could wrestle him down. Yeah, really a nice-looking play there by the offense. Very good blocking up front. Drop back. Let's it go. And it's caught. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Let's look at that one again. And he tacks on the extra point. Akron ready to kick this one off. Number 39 and number 89. Number 46 kicks it off. Puff takes from the 10. And there's a fumble. It's scooped up. First and ten. They line up with split backs. Westgate with a takedown at the 28-yard line. Didn't get anything. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Drops back. He unloads it. Complete. And he's finally taken down at the four. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. Kent State lines up defensively at a 4-3. Number six. Bats it down. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. They're crowding the line. And down he goes at the four-yard line. The golden flashes line up in a 4-3. Drops back. And it's knocked away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Baldwin lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. The kick is up. And it is good. To kick. Number 39 and number 89. Number 46 kicks it off. Puff fields it in the end zone. First and ten. Ball on their own 19. Mason alone in the backfield. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. It's second down and four to go. Mason lines up with a single back. He drops back. He passes it. It falls incomplete. Kirby just let that one get away from it. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. Ball on the 25-yard line. Third down and four coming up on this one. 
The golden flashes come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. He throws it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. Manning back to return it. He gets it off. Manning fields it at the 24. Number 11 brings him down at the 31. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. It's first and 10. Kent State lines up in a dime defense here. Steps back to pass. He rolls out to the right, lets it fly, and it's knocked down. That one's just too hot to handle. Yeah, the quarterback might want to think about taking a little bit off his passes in those situations. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 31. Number nine lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Throws it out there. Mosley with a takedown. Chance of 40. Third down and short. Kent State brings in the nickel here. Number nine steps back to pass. He's rolling right. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. And that was a missed opportunity. No question there. He needs to make that catch there. Because now they're looking at fourth down. Ball on the 40. 4-3 defense. Back to pass. He's on the run. Deep pass down the right side. And that pass deserves another look. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our half... Got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Number 46 kicks it off. Huff takes from the 10. Ball on their own 26. It's first and 10. The golden flashes come out in the ace formation. They've listened. Bam! Brings him down at the 32-yard line. So he picked up a few yards before they brought him down. You know, it wasn't a huge game, but if they can continue to do that, they'll force the defense to respect that run, and that'll open up the passing game. Second and three at the 32-yard line. Number 56 with a takedown at the 37. Coach, he picked up a few on that one before they got to him. This was a well-executed running play, Brad. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. Kent State comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. Rifles it over the middle, and it's knocked away. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did, because they were coming. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 37. The Zips line up in a 3-4. Back to pass. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. That's a seven-yard loss. Ball on the 29-yard line. Third down and long coming up here. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. Heaves a long one down the middle. First down. And they make the stop at the 22-yard line. What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. Ball on the 22. Ace backfield. Can't wrap him up. He's got the first. Brought down at the 9-yard line. Offense. Loss of 10 yards. Ball on the 
the 31-yard line. First and long. The Zips come out in a 34 defense. Number 40 brings him down at the 25-yard line. So he picked up a few yards before they brought him down. You know, it wasn't a huge gain, but if they can continue to do that, they'll force the defense to respect that run, and that'll open up the passing game. Four-man front by the defense. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Mangan with a catch. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he hits the PAT. State lines up for the kickoff. Amen. And Manning back deep to return. Here's the kick. Amen. Fields it in the end zone. First and ten. Ball on the 21. The golden flashes put four men up front. Number nine is going to be sacked for a loss. And a big change in momentum right there, Kirk. Well, the defense is playing inspired football right now. The ball popped out, and everybody was on the ground grabbing for it. Ball on the 15-yard line. It's first and ten. Mason in the deep back as they line up in the eye. Milhouse with a takedown at the 13. A one-yard gain on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Kent State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He drops back. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. That's a six-yard loss. Six yards Ball on the 20. Mason alone in the backfield. Number 16, back to pass. He unloads it. Number eight, tips it away. I think he really needed to make that catch. Well, that pass was thrown right on the money, and it should have been caught. The quarterback's going to be furious because now, now it's fourth down. Ball on the 20-yard line. Justice is lined up for the kick. It's up. And it's through the uprights. Kent State to kick this one off. Number 37, number 84 to the season. Stuckey kicks it off. Amen. Fields it in the end zone. Ball on the 21-yard line. First and 10. Chase lines up as a single back. Sheds that one. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Coach, he picked up a few on that one before they got to him. This was a well-executed running play, Brad. It's second down and three to go. Ball on their own 27. The golden flashes come out in a 4-3. Number nine steps back to pass. Durham knocks it away. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Third down and three coming up. They put everyone up on the line. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. A pickup of about three. Ball on the 31-yard line. Akron lines up for the shotgun set. Drops back to pass. And it's incomplete.
fifth play of this drive coming up. Kent State lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. Complete. He finally goes down at the 43. That one was nearly overthrown. Boy, the receiver makes a great play by putting his hands up. He had enough vertical leap to get his hands on it. First and ten. The golden flashes line up at a 4-3. He's looking for his man, and it falls incomplete. He just let that one slip out of his hand. Oh, he can't take his eyes off the ball. It looks like that's what happened. Second and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Mayer brings him down at the 42-yard line. Nothing going on that one. Ball in the 42. It's third down and nine to go. The Golden Flashes use a four-man front here. Back to pass. He unloads it. And it's caught. Number 10 with a takedown at the 21-yard line. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Second and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Kent 24, Akron 10. And we're ready to start quarter number four. Ball on the 21. Second and nine coming up here. Kent State comes out in a 4-3. Back to throw. Fires across the middle. Complete. First down. Touchdown. Zips. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. Hits the PAT. Akron lines up for the kickoff. Number 46 kicks it off. Huff fields it at the one. Ball on their own 21. It's first and 10. Mason alone in the backfield. Gets past the tackle. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. So he picked up a few yards before they brought him down. You know, it wasn't a huge game, but if they can continue to do that, they'll force the defense to respect that run, and that'll open up the passing game. Ball on the 27. Second and three coming up. The golden flashes come out with split backs. He drops back. He's going long. Incomplete pass. And he couldn't hang on to that ball. Well, that's frustrating for the quarterback right there because he threw the ball very well. You have to expect your receivers to make that kind of catch. Ball on their own 27. The golden flashes come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He unloads it. Number 36 has it. Brought down at the 46. Oh, my. That long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. Akron lines up defensively in a 
And down he goes at the 49. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. Ball right around midfield. Akron comes out in a 4-3. And he's tackled at the 44. And that was a nice job of running. Good one, Brad. If they can utilize a balanced offense, mix up the run with the pass, they should be able to get more of these five to six yard runs. Ball on the 44. Akron lines up defensively in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. Heaves a long one down the middle. Foster makes the catch, and down he goes at the 10. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. They come out in a goal line set. Here comes the defense. Number 94 brings him down at the 7. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy like that who can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure keeps some pressure off the passing game. Kent State sets up in the eye. Douglas with a takedown at the 1. That's a nice six-yard game. They're crowding the line. He's in for the touchdown. They managed to find the end zone on the ground. Nice job by the offense, wasn't it, Kurt? Well, Coach, just like you always say, keep it simple when you're down inside the five-yard line. Good job to finish off the drive. Tacks on the extra point. Kent State is ready to kick it away. Stuckey kicks it off. Manning fields it in the end zone. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 21. Akron comes out of the shotgun. He drops back. He throws it. And it's incomplete. It looks like he overthrew him on that one. I'll tell you, I think the quarterback got rid of that one too quickly, Kirk. Well, Coach, you're right. They need to work on their timing a little bit more. The golden flashes put four men up front. Drops the throw. He's on the run. He rifles it to the left. He's got the first. Tackle at the 45. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. Ball on the 45-yard line. Number nine, back in the gun. Steps back to pass. He lets it go. First down. He made the grab near the sideline. Those passes take a great deal of concentration because you have to catch the ball and make sure you're in bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. The golden flashes bring in the nickel package. Back to that. Let's it fly. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Second and ten. The Zips come out with split backs. Back to pass. He throws it. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there. And that ball was thrown in the right spot. Back to pass. He lets it go. He's got the first. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. And they pick up nine there. 
Ball on the 21 yard line. Chase lines up as a single back. Number nine drops back. Mayer with the interception. Number 61 brings him down at the 40. That's not what you want to do when you're losing this late in the game. Nope. At this late in the fourth quarter, my friends, that was probably their last chance. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Golden Flashes come to the line with their jumbo package. First and ten at the 40-yard line. They wrap him up. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. Here it is again. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Golden Flashes line up in an I formation. Brought down at the 36. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. The Golden Flashes line up in a goal line formation. Rockman with a takedown at the 34-yard line. The defense takes a timeout. Ball on the 34-yard line. It's second down and eight to go. They line up in the jumbo set. They're bringing it. Missed tackle. And down he goes at the 29. Only managed a few yards on that play before they could wrestle him down. Yeah, really a nice-looking play there by the offense. Very good blocking up front. Ball on the 29. It's third down and two to go. The Golden Flashes come to the line with their jumbo package. Zajac brings him down at the 24-yard line. And that was a nice hard run there to get the first down. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more motivating than watching a guy work that hard for a first down like that. Zajac with a takedown at the 13-yard line. They get about 10 yards on that play. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. The Zips use a four-man front here. Douglas. Brings him down at the 11-yard line. They'll get two on that one. Timeout called by the offense. Kent State will line up in a jumbo set here. Milhouse with a takedown at the 10. Comes out at a 4-3. Bam! Brings him down at the 4. The final score is Kent 31, Akron 17. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? Well, no doubt about it, this was a pretty big mismatch. Akron did a nice job of hanging in there against a far superior team, but in the end, they just didn't have enough to get it done. They played well, though. Nice job, guys. Thanks for watching this game of NCAA Football 2002. The final count in this one, Kent 31, Akron 17. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.